This is question 13 from a series of videos taking a look at the Edexcel practice papers. Here we're told that there are only four mints, uh, four mint biscuits and one toffee biscuit in a tin. And there are only five mint sweets and three strawberry sweets in a packet. Michael's mum lets him take one biscuit from the tin and one sweet from the packet. Michael takes a biscuit at random from the tin. He also takes a sweet at random from the packet. And we're asked to work out the probability that either the biscuit is mint or the sweet is mint, but not both. Now, the way that we're going to work this out is we've got two events. We've got two events, which are uh, that Michael takes a sweet from the tin, and uh, sorry, a biscuit from the tin and a sweet from the packet. Those are our two events. And when we have two events, what we can do is we can draw a probability tree diagram to help us figure out what the probability of those events combined will be. So the first thing to say is we're going to write down the probabilities um, when Michael selects from the tin. So he could either choose a mint biscuit or he could choose a toffee biscuit. Then the probability that he chooses a mint biscuit is four fifths. The probability that he chooses a toffee biscuit is one fifth. So that's the first thing that Michael's doing. He's choosing a, a biscuit from the tin. Then following that, following that, Michael then selects a sweet from the packet. So he could either choose, so if he selects a mint biscuit from the tin first, the he then has two things that could potentially happen when he selects from the packet. So after he selected a mint biscuit, he could then select a mint sweet or a strawberry sweet. So he could choose a mint sweet or a strawberry sweet. And here, the probability of choosing a mint sweet is five over eight. And then the probability of choosing a strawberry sweet is three over eight. So that's one of the things. So, so far, what we've got is that he could choose a mint sweet for uh, a mint biscuit from the tin and a mint sweet from the packet so a mint and a mint or he could choose a mint biscuit from the tin and a strawberry sweet from the packet so mint then strawberry so those are two things that could happen the alternative is that he chooses a toffee biscuit from the tin first and again when that happens when he chooses that toffee biscuit there are two things that could potentially happen he could then choose a mint sweet from the packet or a strawberry sweet. And those probabilities are five eighths and three eighths. So the other two things that could potentially happen is that he chooses a toffee biscuit and a mint sweet. Or he could choose a toffee biscuit and a strawberry sweet. So what we can see is that there are four potential combinations uh, that Michael could choose from the tin and the packet. And what we're asked to do is we're asked to work out the probability that either the biscuit is mint or the sweet is mint, but not both. So we're not interested in him choosing both, but we are interested in choosing either the biscuit is mint. So the biscuit is mint, that combination there, or the sweet is mint that combination there. We're not interested in that combination down the bottom. So these are the two combinations that we're interested in. And to work out the probability that he chooses a mint biscuit and a strawberry sweet, we just need to multiply the probabilities together. So we're going to do four fifths multiplied by three eighths. So four fifths multiplied by 3 eighths, that's going to give us 12 over 40. Then the probability of him choosing a toffee biscuit and a mint sweet is going to be 1 fifth multiplied by 5 eighths. So working this out, that's going to give us 5 over 40. So all that's left for us now to do is to take these probabilities and add them together. So 12 over 40 
plus 5 over 40 and that's going to give us 17 over 40. So final answer is going to be 17 over 40.